let's see what's our user or owner this can be a refinery a chemical plant is uh, uh, duties and responsibilities establish design requirement such as design pressure design temperature corrosion allowance all of these things is comes with the uh, owner and user who is going to be own this pressure vessel on a, a refinery or a chemical plant a gas treating plant they have to provide what the design pressure they want what the design temperature they uh, they have for this pressure vessel corrosion allowance and then the manufacturer can get this information and, and uh, start to make a detailed design or owner or his engineering you know agent can provide this information this is the responsibility of owner, owner and end user to provide this information and if it is a lethal services lethal services it means a toxic substance if it's going to be a toxic substance inside of the dispersion vessel there's some code requirement like a full radiography some of the joint should be type number one we're going to discuss all of these things and it's a part of the exam you should know the lethal services is that is as the same of the toxic substance and if categorized as a lethal services then those requirement is going to be uh, you know is required to be implemented and who is in charge and who is responsible to kind of you know determine if this is a lethal services is the owner or end user pwhd beyond the code you know we're going to discuss about the pwhd in in coming slides but normally based on the section 8 division 1 what determines that the PWHD or post weld heat treatment is requirement is the combination of the material, the type of the material and the wall thickness. For some material, regardless of the wall thickness, is a full and mandatory requirement for performing PWHD. For some material, after certain wall thickness is a requirement. But sometimes it's a service requirement. It comes from the customer, regardless of the wall thickness or material like a amine stress corrosion cracking or caustic stress corrosion cracking if it's going to be contain some caustic and its wall thickness is not code requirement it's a carbon steel and it's not the code requirement to be subjected to the post weld heat treatment but if you don't do that it goes to the service and start the cracking from heat affected zone so that's a service requirement to be subjected to the post weld heat treatment and the, the the manufacturer doesn't know anything about that this is a responsibility of the user or his agent engineering agent to determine if they want the pwhd beyond the code nde beyond the code you know if they need the the code always is a minimum requirement so if they need some more uh, non-destructive testing on pressure vessel they needs to become on uh, you know customer specification for example I've seen in many many pressure vessel manufacturers they normally make a liquid penetrant test on branches and nozzles on I don't have a lifting lock on a lifting lock magnetic particle testing is not indicated in a semi section 8 division 1 this normally comes from uh, customer specification or end user or his engineering agent which has put together this specification comes from them so those are uh, the responsibility of the user if they want to do uh, the, this kind of a testing on beyond the ASM section 8 division 1 now let's see, let's see.